This is the old figure I'd, I'd take a minute and explain during this video. I assume this tractor was a 4140 working, looking at the, the model and serial number tag. And lo and behold, I found out I was wrong. And that was a CA 414C which equates to a 3910 Ford, which is actually a 1983, so... And it's a three-cylinder diesel, from what from what I've gathered on the internet. Uh, looking at it, I, I think it was a three-cylinder, but I truthfully did not look that hard. So, anyhow, enjoy this video of me getting this thing running, guys. Later. Hopefully I can buy it. So I'm pretty sure it's a 4140 if I'm reading the tag right there. I'm pretty sure it's 12 volt with an extremely large battery. So I'm pretty sure I want to check. This is yeah, that's the shut off there. I think you guys can see that moving. Yeah. So I might come up here and get this running one day. So guys, going to be working on what I believe is a 4140 Ford here today. I've already changed out the battery and put a battery in it that I know is good. It's not as big as the battery that was in it, obviously. It had a really high, uh, big amp hour battery, but I know it'll spin over here. One last thing I want to do is I want to check in the, the diesel tank and see if it's got fuel in it. I did bump the key once and it seems like it turned over. I'll get this thing running and then I'll get the tires pumped up and stuff but has oil in it oh, I can't if I step up step up in here there's fuel in there it smells like diesel yeah, you guys can see it glaring down there so so I guess all we can do is go for broke uh the fuel shut off and moves freely the rack doesn't seem like it's stuck so all i can do is just see what happens yeah let me get the seat cleared off so i can sit on it and then i'll bring you guys back so without further ado down and see what happens. We got lights on the dash. One of them should be glow plugs I think. See if one cycles out here real quick. <laughs> that was easy. and everything works. It does move, the clutch was stuck at first. The only negative I see is this valve core on this side is actually broke off, so you can't put air in the tire, but loader and everything seems like it works. Three point works. And now the clutch is working, right? Because one thing I will say is the loader leaks down pretty quick. Wait 
go. And the loader controls are really weird since it's under the seat. That raises the bucket. Or that's the main. This tilts the bucket. On it. No lights on on the dash. Uh, 4,108 hours. I don't think the tack works. Oh yeah. The tack does work. So that's awesome. So I shoot the guy a text and tell him what's going on here. And you know the one thing I didn't try? I didn't try the steering. The only quirk about this, the high-low has to be in neutral. I would say... Does this thing have power steering? This thing has power steering. I think it's manual. Well, here's the easy way to find out. Let's put this baby in low. First gear. Pick up on the main. I'm going to grab the wheel to the left. This thing does not have power steering. It's all good gravy. Well, that sucks. Back in neutral here. I always shut the key off and pull the shut off lever just so that way you don't forget. But runs, works, and moves.